Hey, bitch, you might want to get up. There's a fucking wandering lady. Oh, finally. I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. She got that banger. I'm so sorry. No, I shouldn't have gotten mad like that. Thanks, Anita. I guess I haven't accepted Maya's death yet. Wait, Maya been dead this whole time? Why did she jump from the villa? Bitch, what is you talking about? She, she texted me. Maya's dead? Who's texting the phone then? Wait. Maya's really dead? How could I forget that? Oh, right. hell no. Why don't we just call Maya's phone? Why are we texting the phone? who's this? Find it. What the fuck is you talking about? You want me to find Ooh. a paintbrush? Like, what was we talking about? I gotta be. I'm on the look for something. You guys know I'm supposed to walk up out of here. God damn. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. Where am I going? Oh shit. What the fuck was that? Is this a dream? Oh no. Not again. Oh, we're going through that door. We're going through the door. Right here. I got you, bitch. We in this bitch. What the hell's going on? What the fuck? What has Maya been doing in this building? Damn, I've been painting everywhere. Maya died, but her art lives on. Bitch, how are you not just worried about what the fuck was chasing Even you more right now? followers, no one is ever going to notice me. Oh no, I already see where this is going. This is where. Who the fuck is that? Bad things happen because of you. Maybe. I can be like her. No, you can't. Here goes. You can't even draw. Can't be nothing like Maya. Damn. So I just got killed so I could come up top of the building and just jump. Wait, that was it? It is a short message. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. And then what huh? we're talking, we got the phone back. Back at the villa? But why didn't I die? Some weird things happening. Weird things. Find it, find what? Can't leave until you find it. This is really you, Maya? Can't leave until you find it. Maya dead, you're not her. Can't leave until you find it. Who the fuck is this? Can't leave until you find it, tell me. What the fuck? Hey, what is that thing? Oh, my battery. Oh, that's not good. We out this door again. No exit, we remember this. Why is that light moving though? I ain't got no fucking phone. This is all your phone! Like, who keep yelling at me? that bitch don't be manipulated believe your senses flashlight oh oh they fucking shit up what the hell is this who would do this oh all the teenagers surveyed suffer from deep psychological issues caused by past experience that and interestingly all of them conceptualize those issues in rat noise stories of sorts that says one girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata believing those scars would bloom into a beautiful cherry blossom these convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred the greater the trauma the more Rather noise, the story surrounding it. The hell? Wait, it's back on. At least my flashlight's working. How could somebody do this? And they get at it. Some her. people really have nothing better to do. Wait, I bet it was these guys. What the fuck? Oh! What the fuck is this shit? What's this? The hell? They knew I was coming in here, man. Oh, that one's gone. Now you gone. Won't open. I'm missing something. What is it? Read that already. I'm missing something out here. Oh, this bitch. This Start is just late like reply. before. Felt good enough to be out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. Wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. Anita, are you okay? You getting enough sleep? Kind of, I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do too you're much so on You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. 
She is going to college. Maya really didn't tell you anything? No, all she talked about was the books you read recently still. I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? At all? So what'd you think of the book? I don't know. The author killed themselves. When they were young. Well, this can't be good at all. Something beautiful from something tragic. Really? It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You don't seem that depressed. You really are shy, aren't you? Actually, kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. Crazy, bitch. I can't wait to read more. Read more? Like, what did you... Have we not read enough? Okay, letters. Where did I come from? A rundown apartment complex in Kinestet had been become known for. Her. Oh, I already read this last time. This is the same note. Was there graffiti on the walls last time, though? There ain't nothing here. This shit seemed cleaned up. The fuck is this? Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Tell my fortune right now, then. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. My great grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. I guess if you could tell the future, you got to ups on everybody else. But we turned on my great grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own. Those who believe in the witch of Kinestit share many practices with modern wicked cans. What what kind of name is that? Such as praying for a bountiful harvest and godship goddess worship what sets the practice apart is the slight bend of both western and eastern customs as for what led to the mixing of customs there is one rather creative theory during the joint efforts of the japanese and german okay that's a big ass word i can't believe i can't say that right now but fuck it and laborers tours. oh my god laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity. There was an exchange in cultural beliefs giving rise to the beliefs in witches. See what we got going on here. A lot of witchcraft going on. Is that the first time? <laughs> no, point no point predicting, predicting my future. My future. Nothing in here. If you want food, do what I say. What the hell does that mean? You want food? Do what I do say! What I Japanese culture there has been a sense of beauty and sacrifice with Hikari often oneself by slicing one's stomach. Being a primary example, the idea was that by taking your own, you symbolically uh, purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Doesn't seem beautiful. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view in such a positive light anymore and the life they value is not the biological verity but rather a social one where death is needed to protect that life right did the here nothing to see here go ahead and get up out of here this is the trash room they finally let me in this is all your fault everything you're a heartless bitch you stole my only friend my place in this world all of it and you don't even care i'm invisible to you i fucking hate you you're not talented, you're not special, you call those shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. F off, F off, F off, F off, F off, F off, F off. Get the F out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Um, somebody's mad at somebody here. Get it? You only got one? Let's see what's in room 207. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of the Europe's oldest and most her revered institutions, its state of art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Uh, School of Medicine Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when This is for the college hmm. Amelie wants to go to. Be good. Gotta wear a mask. Oh, not this bitch again. Hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. Is something bothering you? You can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right? You okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, we can find you something cute. Bitch, I'm being honey. 
No, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds, and nothing looks cute on me anyways. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. She needs to find the right... She needs to find the right therapist. What the hell is that? Oh, no. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school in town showing so much. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why she wouldn't say. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test for you both and dad. That's a crazy picture to have right there. People, nobody's cleaning up, apparently, anywhere. Oh, we got a laptop. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I could just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and dad are counting on me to do well. I make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the bus till morning. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better. But everything got canceled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if I had gone through it, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things hadn't worked, had worked out, not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. It does seem like a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city where college life is waiting for me. Everything riding on my entrance exam next year. I had to get out before my brother comes back. This bitch hates her brother. That boy been staring. Is that a fucking Furby? Hell. Stay on alone. Why you put me here alone? I got some materials for my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom and dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter I can ever. Oh, hated the way her brother I looked be. at her. I bet she wants to get away from all that. I didn't get to read the next page. Mom and dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without the rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work for nothing? Damn! No way, don't leave me, mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck with my brother. Mom just left. She told me to get out the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. Where would I go? This is a bad dream. This is a bad dream. This is a bad dream. This is not a dream. This is real life. God damn. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of Kenton State Department building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to the troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Wait a second. Emily's not like this, though. Emily's... Right? Emily didn't die, did she? But, oh, hell no. I guess I'll do what they say for the sake of the game. We in school. Let's go ahead and pause this real quick.